another round of applause to our choir, Larry Callahan and the Selected of God. What a fantastic way to start. That was just outstanding. On behalf of the World Congress Organizing Committee and ITS America, I welcome you to Detroit and the 21st World Congress on Intelligent Transport Systems. Our theme this week is Reinventing Transportation in Our Connected World. Michigan offers a full range of capabilities that can support all of you and all the technologies that you're developing. The other neat thing that Michigan did in 2013 in December, we enacted laws that allow automated or autonomous vehicles to operate on Michigan highways. We're a real leader in advancing technologies related to autonomous vehicles. Here in Michigan, you'll find a state transportation department that's a global leader in connected vehicle testing. And we operate a state-of-the-art traffic management center to cope with congestion and aid emergency response. Detroit has a rich automotive history, and we're embracing technologies that will define the future of transportation. Allow me to welcome all of you and add my voice to the distinguished guests that have appeared before me. I am thrilled to be able to introduce our keynote speaker, Mary Barra, CEO of General Motors. Mary was named Chief Operating Officer, Chief Executive Officer of General Motors effective January 15, 2014. Under her leadership, GM is driving to become the global industry leader in automotive design and technology. If we expect our industry to thrive well into the future, we have to provide solutions. To do that, we have to be passionate and fearless advocates for safety technologies, like vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, vehicle-to-infrastructure communication, and ultimately, fully autonomous driving. No other suite of technologies offers so much potential for good, and it's time to turn that potential into reality. That's why I'm announcing today that GM will put the first V2V enabled car on the road in about two years. What's more, I'm announcing that we will bring in advanced, highly automated driving technology to the market in this same time frame. I and other members of Congress, including the bipartisan Senate Auto Caucus, which I co-chair, understand the importance of your work, that for a few hundred dollars per vehicle, we can potentially save thousands of lives and prevent many times more injuries. And at the U.S. Department of Transportation, we know the future is now. Intelligent transportation systems promise to bring a new future in transportation safety. And that's why we're already at work putting in place the guidelines to bring vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle technology into the mainstream. The state of Michigan, the city of Detroit, and the automotive industry placed here in Detroit have very well understood the enormous potential of ITS to revolutionize transport with enormous business opportunities for the industry and enormous opportunities for more sustainable mobility. Tackling these problems is a shared task for those who bear responsibilities for road transportation systems. And the question being asked of us is how to effectively utilize and deploy ITS to deal with these problems 